This video is about running trains on modules during a meet of a modular group. So let's dig in and take a look at what such a meet looks like, how the modules interface and how an operating session plays out. On the last weekend of October 2019, the annual Heidetreffen of the North American N-Scale chapter of the Framework Club took place in Northern Germany. The chapter is called America N and members from Germany, Sweden and the Netherlands were attending. The venue was shared with the HO Old chapter, which focuses on German prototypes in the late 1920s. The concept of Fremo modules is based on standardized module ends, which allows for modules that can be set up in various ways, which leads to a different setup for every meeting. The setup of the layout then depends on who attends, which modules they are able to bring, as well as the shape of the space available. The American chapter operates on two mechanically and electrically compatible standards. The first standard is simply called the American standard and is geared towards mainline and branchline operation with a road bed, a fixed width and the track standard at the module ends. The newer American industry standard is geared towards modules depicting industrial switching operations and does not include a road bed and allows for different widths. The track may also be off-center at the module end. A third kind of modules called American ST has gained some traction in the last couple of years. These modules require adapter modules in order to join them with a module following the other two standards though. During the planning phase for a meet, the modules are integrated into a layout with operations in mind and the trains and jobs are being planned out along with the physical setup of the layout. Typically, the jobs are assigned to the crews by either the dispatcher, a yardmaster, a call board or a combination of these methods. The locomotives are assigned to the jobs and when a job is done, they are left in the staging yard or the engine facility of a live yard on the layout. Let's watch Whitehall Yard to see how all that played out during an operating session as a manifest train rolls into town. Luckily, the crew at the originating yard did their job and the train is blocked properly, so the yard switcher can quickly pull the block destined for Whitehall off the train and hand off a cut of cars to the Yakima switcher, who is working the nearby Yakima Food Row industrial area. While the white hall switcher is busy assembling the local, another train rolls through. The main line will prove to be quite busy very soon. And yet another manifest arrives with more work for Whitehall Yard. While both trains are awaiting their round to get out of the yard, the first manifest train gets clear into Whitehall Yard and will arrive soon, ready to pick up more cars. Dispatch for 112, over. 112, listening. Dispatch to 112, I got a new track warrant for you, it's number 54. You're cleared to Whitehall, not valid until train 112 has been through Corning, over. I got track warrant number 54, I'm cleared to Whitehall, but not valid until, and I think you mean 110. Actually, um, over. That meant 110. Thanks for the correction. Over and out. The yard switcher is busy working the sorting tracks of the suddenly overcrowded yard, so the road crew helps out and fetches the cut of outbound cars themselves before heading off to the staging yard where the job ends. While that crew gets ready for the next assignment, another manifest train is already passing the Yakima switcher and rounding the curve into Whitehall, bringing more cars to keep the switching crew busy. That's it for today. I've put a link to the module standards in the description below, so go check it out if you want to learn more about that.